Hello fellow NHLers, it's your friend Ebbs and Flows back very quickly. Quick turnaround from our last video, I wanted to upload more, why not? We're having fun playing NHL. In this episode, I'm going to give you a team update. We're also going to do some pack openings, and also we're going to show you how not to play skill zone. And on our first line here, we moved Madonna up from the fourth line center to our wing because he's so quick. Uh, second line's pretty much the same. We gave Sagan the assistant card. I think we had him like that before. Uh, also, we gave Duchesne the assistant card and moved Pavelski to center so we could have a right handed center because we were all left handed before. And we moved Nick Backstrom to the middle on the fourth line. And the other two wingers are the same there. A uh, new player update. He was he has been in a few games already for us. Uh, we did move around as well. Uh, we pulled Victor Hedman to the first line with Drew Doughty. We moved Duncan Keith to the second line with our new card PK Subban. I'm uh, the jury's kind of still out on him. I'm not sure if I want to keep him. He hasn't scored that many goals or anything like that. So. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. He's been playing pretty solid. He's fast. I like moving up the ice with him and everything. But uh, I, I don't know. Maybe we can make a change coming up here soon. Anyway, guys, uh, like I said in this episode, we're going to do some pack openings. Uh, and I'm really excited to bring you the first game. We have two games in store. So the first game is going to show you a huge clip of exactly how you should play defense in NHL. No skill zone, playing solid, switching man defense, how to do it, um, how it works, and how it's uh, achievable. If you do play skill zone and you're worried about switching, uh, it, it's and this is perfect for you to watch. It, it shows you exactly what you need to do, how to position your guys, um, and, and how to switch guys. And, and it's effective defense. It's shut down defense. It's perfect. It's how you should be playing. It's how you should strive to play. Are there holes in it? You bet. Uh, there's holes in playing uh, the skill zone too. Not, not many. And if you play this way, you get more turnovers. Uh, there's no complaints. And, and honestly, I think it makes you better at the game. So anyway, getting into the pack openings here, we have nothing in that first mega pack. Yeah, big mega pack, getting nothing, nothing, nothing. Few cards we want to sell for a thousand, hopefully make a couple pucks. On to the second pack here, guys. All right, anything? No way. A Philpula, whoop de doo No offense to anyone who uses Philpula. I think he's a good player, just not not going to fit on our team. I think we have we have enough players uh, to overcome a Philpula. Jeez. Nothing going in these packs today, guys. They're, they're rough. We bought four of them, too, so spent a good chunk of change on some packs. Not that we need any more great players, but, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind them. <laughs> we're saving up for one. I just don't know who we're going to get next. Dallas card. Let's keep that one for a future future prospect, if you will. And then uh, another change team card. If it's worth a 1000 you know we're going to try to sell it. All right, hopefully those sell. I thought that was going to be a good card right there, the Rask. I thought it was like an 87, you know. I was like, oh, no, but never mind. <laughs> all right, those are all gone. All right, on to our third pack here, guys. Let's see here. Come on, NHL. <laughs> so many of these are just nothing, you know, especially you guys who play this often. If you play Hut a lot and you buy packs a lot, you know it is tough sledding. I feel like this year more than ever, I, I'm, I honestly, I mean, I've been playing Hut for probably three years. This is probably my fourth year, I want to say, and, and the first year I wasn't too serious about it, but this year, or I mean, the last three years, I'd say I've been taking it seriously, buying lots of packs, playing a lot, you know, investing a lot of time, and um, I, I've gotten a Crosby before, I've gotten an Ovi before, but this year, the only really great pull I've gotten in a pack has been our goalie, all-star goalie, Jonathan Quick, and it was in a regular pack. If you check back a couple episodes in our series here, you can see, oh, we pulled a Yandel, that's right. I mean, I, I know it's only 6,500, <laughs> but that's better than anyone we pulled so far. So, you know, whoop de doo at least we got something, right? At least we got something that's worth over 2,000 pucks. Anyway, the best pool we've gotten has been a Jonathan Quick uh, All-Star Edition, which is really, really awesome, and he's worth a good amount, too. 
but um, you know, I'm just used to, especially the amount of packs I've bought. I mean, geez, you can look at my team and, and tell that I've certainly invested a lot of time in not only buying packs, but work in the market. And I've had to do it more so than, than ever because I just really haven't been pulling that many good players, uh, even in these big packs. I mean, whenever these big packs comes out or come out, uh, I'm usually buying one or two. So, uh, you know, nothing going in these packs, guys. That's four packs. Uh, we did get a Yandel. Um, you know, what can I say? It, yeah, that's okay, I guess, but nothing doing still. All right, guys, so still nothing going. Uh, we're going to keep our captain card. I feel like we've been changing captains and assistant captains and things like that quite a bit. So uh, let's see here. That's it for the packs, guys, unfortunately. Um... We're going to get right into our first game. Uh, we have one of two games in store. I'm sorry for the packs. I wish I pulled something. I mean, at least you can see someone for once not pull anything instead of all these YouTubers pulling everything. <laughs> pulling Ovi's, pulling Sydney's. All right, guys, I'm bringing you the first period. This was such a difficult game, and here's where we're going to start off with our no skill zone gameplay. This is going to go on for about, I don't know, two to three minutes in our own zone. Look at the switch. Look at the position. Little corrections. You do not want to over pursue. Little corrections. Little skates. Little movements with that left joystick is all defense is about. Using the poke. Keeping them out. Not in. Not giving any angles. Keep it on, keeping them on the forehand. Watch the forehand. Don't go for that backhand because as soon as it comes around forehand, that's passing. That's shooting. Look at the switching. <laughs> not to toot my own horn here, but... I mean, just excellent, excellent defense. I mean, we're switching, we're moving, we're staying with. I know when people have faster players than you, it's a little bit more difficult to do so. But uh, in this case, this guy has equally as fast players. Uh, we almost hit a, a nice goal here to end that. But I just wanted to bring you that short clip to show you how, to, how top players actually play defense. I'm not just claiming to be a top player, even though I feel like I am. Um... Uh, you know, that it's time will tell, but, uh, you know, that that's how it's done, guys. That's how the really good players I play do it. They, they stick with you. They're, they're quick. They, they know what they're doing on defense. It's important. So that, that's how you that's how you don't play skill zone. That, that's how you play. You're supposed to play defense in this game. Uh, that was a, a great sequence for us defensively. It, it's really set a tone for the whole game. And on top of it, when you play like that and you're not playing skill zone and you're beating your opponent straight up switching, it's frustrating for him. It, it's not easy for that opponent to find an excuse. It just means that you're just as talented, you're just as good as him. And it shows it. I, I think that's a, there's a psychological element to this video game when you do that uh, with that strategy of defensive play it's great and as i was playing this game i could have sworn this guy was a top 10 player you've seen previous episodes where i've played not top 10 but uh, we've played number 12 in the world uh, we've played 61st in the world and we've won both and playing this guy was equivalent to that for me he was extremely uh, resilient lots of pressure very skilled uh, just my hand hurt after the game because of all the switching, all the skating. I'm sure his did too. So as you can see here, I, I know we've been playing all defense. I'll show you the statistics at the end of the game were a lot closer than it showed in just gameplay because we were just playing defense the whole time. So getting you to the end of the third, it's been such a tight game. I mean, I cannot stress enough how tight this game has been. Uh, we finally get that we get a puck here. We get a good break. Cross crease to Sydney Dean Crosby. Oh my god, with 20 seconds left, we throw one in on a simple cross crease. It wouldn't be any other type of goal except the most common goal in this game. If we can hold this guy off for 20 more seconds, we, we have a great, fought, hard defensive fought win. What, uh, so proud of this gameplay, honestly. I mean, it was just such a... What a grind. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right, we got four seconds left. Great poke check there. Good pressure. And we're going to kill it, guys. We get our win. We get our first win there. Awesome, awesome gameplay for us. Great win for us. Uh, getting into the record, I'm going to show you this opponent's record as always. I love doing that for you guys. That way you know who I'm playing. Um, he is a top, uh, top 600 player in the world in Hut. 
Um, I, those rankings are always a little bit skewed because, uh, as you can see, the stats, we outplayed him just a bit, just a bit. A really, really close game, though. He did uh, outface off us. That's okay. That happens every so often, right? So, uh, But uh, we got the W. That's what's important. And, and I thought we outplayed him a little bit. A couple more shots. Uh, you know, there we go. Good, good win and a good, uh, good finish too. Last 20 seconds. That's just a rough game. Um, so as you can see here, we're going into the ranking. He is top 600. Some of these guys, if you're, if, you know, as we're scrolling through, look at some of the records of these people ranked up here. 288, 231 of that guy. I mean, dude, that's a lot of losses. I, I feel like he shouldn't be ranked above the player I just played. Uh, it, it's crazy how that work out, works out. I mean, even our ranking, like we compete with top, you know, top 20 players in the world and we're still ranked in the top, you know, over a thousand. So 241 and 97 was his record. Graham Crackers. Great, great uh, game. Really good team as well. That's a lot of league titles, 33. Um, really good player. Really great win and tip of the cap to my opponent because that was a tough, tough game. And as promised, guys, I'm bringing you two games. That's right, two games. This guy's actually ranked above the opponent we just played, and I'll tell you, he's nowhere near as good. That, that's what I'm. That's what I mean. It's just nuts. So bringing you the first period here, uh, we just go. Uh, look at that garbage. Look at that trash goal. I'm pretty sure he just poked it in his own net by accident. Hey, it's early in the first. We'll take anything we can get in hut, absolutely, or in NHL overall, right? Any goal is a goal. All right, guys. So. Cutting away here to a little later in the first. Uh, we're going to get quite a bit of, a couple goals this game. Really different compared to last game. We're on fire after last game. I mean, look at this give and go. We're just on point this game. After playing a kid like that, or a guy like that, and how close it was and how, how dialed in we were defensively, we're ready to explode. We're ready to get some pucks in the back of the other net because it took... Three periods, complete, almost completely, to get one goal last game. We're gonna, we're pushing, we're pushing, and you know we didn't cut away, and that's usually a bad sign for someone. And this game, it's not a bad sign for us. Bad sign for my opponent because we are gonna put up another goal. Uh, quick throw over to Duchesne, and somehow slides it in off his backhand. That, that's a little bit of a. A glitchy goal, but you know what? If you're facing off in your own end, you better push because I'm coming for you and we're going to try to get a quick cross crease. All right, guys, and like I said, when I don't cut away, if you've watched previous episodes, you know that, that something's happening. Someone's going to score. And uh, we take a penalty just when this guy thinks he can get back into the game uh, at 3 nothing. You know, if he got a goal, I, I would stick around. If I were him, why not? You're only down two. He throws it backside, almost throws it in, and our J quick gets it. Quick dangle here. Uh, we're going to quick dangle, throw it short side for a fourth goal. We were five for four in that game. Uh, just just relentless. After, after playing, that might have been his first game online or something because after playing that first guy, man, we were dialed in that second game. So really good goals, really good pressure by us. Uh, I'll, I'll take the easy win if he wants to quit. That, that's fine. Uh, so we're 183 and 56. Great two wins. I do want to bring you, of course, the ranking of my opponent as always, guys. I love doing that. Here we go. His name is Diggs, and he's ranked above him. He is a top 500 hut player, um, and you know, like you could see by the score, the guy wasn't, um, you know, wasn't close to uh, the the guy I played before. It was it was like you know, it wasn't even close. 277, 202. That's a really great record, but. Uh, just just not as good as the guy I played first. Um, but, uh, you know, a great win. Great win and, and tip of the cap as well to this guy, uh, even though he quit. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the packs. Uh, I'll certainly bring you more on The Grind. That's our other series. And uh, hopefully uh, everyone had fun watching. Guys, as always, take care.